Hey guys, so today I have a look for you, this look that you're staring at right now, using my Urban Decay Electric Palette. I just unboxed it, and this is the first thing I ever did. It's a little cray, but I'm in love. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, please keep watching. I started off by priming my lids with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, and I'm using the shade Gonzo. It's slowly adding this as my transition color into my crease. I'm just applying a little product at a time and building it up, but I want it to be very soft. And going back with a little bit more product and blending, blending, blending. Now I'm tight lining and lighting my waterline with my NARS eyeliner pencil. I forget the name. You guys know. Now I'm taking Chaos on a flat shader brush. This is the brush that comes in the palette. And I'm packing it on the inner and outer corner of my lid and kind of connecting the two throughout my crease. Um, I will be in focus in a second again. I'm using a shallow depth of field for those of you who know what that means. You know my troubles. Now I'm going in with a blending brush and softening up that line. I really want to blend chaos in with that transition. Now I'm using a big fluffy brush and blending everything out to finish it off. I did have to go back into chaos a few times after blending to make sure it was deep enough and this is kind of the final look with the blue. Now I'm taking Thrash, this hot yellowish green and packing this on the empty space on my lid and with a lighter hand I'm just sort of going to blend that into chaos. Now with a pencil brush I'm going to mirror the effect of my upper eyelid and apply thrash right <laughs> underneath the center of my lid. And now I'm taking chaos on that same pencil brush and putting it in the outer and inner part of my lower lash line. Does that make sense? That was really hard to say. I don't know why. I'm really smudging that into that lash line and connecting it with the upper lid as well. Now I'm taking my Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara and coating my lashes. And for my liner, I'm using my Inglot Gel Liner number 77. This stuff is the bomb digs. Nothing beats it. Now I'm applying falsies and I'm using my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation in Ghost. I don't know the color, it's just really pale. And I'm applying this all over my face with my Sigma F80. Now to highlight and conceal 
Under my eyes, I'm using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, I believe it's called, and this one is in the shade Light. And blending that out with the Beauty Blender. Now I'm going into the banana shade from the Anastasia Contour Kit and setting under my eyes. Now I'm combining these two bronzers and contouring my face. And my face is in desperate need of a little warmth and definition after that foundation. I do really like being super fair skinned in the winter and I especially like it with this eyeshadow palette. I like the contrast. Um, but yeah, it looks like a mask if I just leave my face with the foundation the way it is. And you don't need to do such a sharp contour like I'm doing here. It is what I prefer and I do like it with this eye look. We're going for drama. But you can definitely do something a little softer if you wanted. Now I'm using my Milani blush in Delicioso Pink, I think. Now I'm using my Milani Color Statement Liner in Nude to line my lips. And my Urban Decay Revolution lipstick in Native. And I'm topping that off with the Dose of Colors Gloss in Undressed to tone down the pink in the lipstick. And this is the final look. It's a little bit crazy and a little out there, but I do think it's really fun to play around with color like this if you have a place to wear it. For me, not so much, but it makes for a good Instagram picture. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I will see you in my next video. Hi guys, so today I wanted to create a look for you that would be perfect for spring and going into the summer weather. I love pops of color during these seasons and I love this sort of teal blue. I think it's perfect. And I am using the Be A Bombshell Claude eyeshadow that came in last month's Ipsy bag. I had gotten a lot of requests to create a look using that, so that is what I have for you guys today. If you would like to see how I created this look, Please keep watching.